tell everyone how amazing I am. Mm. Ooh, I'll live here. So I decided to pick up Big Swiss by Jean. Nope, by Jean. Nope, Jen. I swear I read. Jen Began. Novel is about a sex therapist's transcriptionist and her wild affair with one of her patients. Also, I think the cover is so catching. I'm gonna start this, I'm gonna read for a little bit, and then I'm gonna head over to the gym. Immediate first impressions after reading the first chapter. I'm liking it so far. Um, Greta, the main character who is transcribing all these therapy sessions, she's kind of like, she's a little weird. A um, little sarcastic and witty, which I always gravitate towards and really like. The person that she's becoming infatuated with, she has nicknamed her Big Swiss. Big Swiss's therapy session is interesting. I also feel like Greta, where like I want to know more about her and like why she is the way she is in these sessions. Right now, I am gonna get ready to go to the gym. And I have a few grocery errands to run and laundry to do and work stuff. So we'll see when we get back to this later tonight. Did you know yellow dragon fruit was so expensive? Uh -oh. Yellow dragon fruit. Oh. It was $9 a pound? like what six seven hours since i last picked up this book i've been running around doing errands and i actually did my nails i love a good clean short nail these days and thank you to my mom my mama is my nail tech she is amazing Good morning friends. I am currently on chapter four of Big Swiss and Greta, our main girl, she's unhinged. They were going through her past a little bit and finding more things out about her. It's starting to really captivate me. Everything is a little quirky and funny. I am even more curious how she's going to interact with Big Swiss when that big meet happens. Maybe I'll have some time to read a little bit more before I have to go out today, but very intriguing. Good morning. I am currently reading Feel Good Productivity by Ali Abdal. I am starting to read nonfiction in the morning. The thing with nonfiction books is if it's not a memoir, so to speak, I'm not really going to read it. I struggle with reading self-help books because they sound so corny to me. I don't even know how to explain it, but I just don't gravitate towards it. However, I really like Ali Abdal. I've been watching his YouTube for quite a long time. Even though I don't understand most of what he's saying because he talks so fast, it's nice to actually read what he's saying and understand it. So his productivity book focuses on how to do things more of what matters to you. And I'm only on chapter one and I'm just getting into his how to incorporate play into your life. I feel like you have to kind of be in the mood to read this because if you're like me and you're not, like these kind of things can sound so, like I said, corny. I don't know. Like... Identifying and exploring our play personalities helps us reclaim some of the adventure that define our childhoods. Like, if I wasn't in the mood to be reading this, I'd be like, okay, yeah, whatever. But I am in the mood, and I'm like, oh my god, you know what? Yeah. You see what I mean? This is what happens when you're a mood reader. So I finished Big Swiss last night, and I rated it three and a half stars. So I liked it. I didn't love it. I think the ending kind of fell short for me. I think it's because my expectations were going a totally different route and I don't want to spoil how the book ends. I just thought it was gonna be a little bit more unhinged just based how the story was going because there are so many unhinged crazy people in this book. 
which I loved and it made it very funny. And beyond a relationship between Greta and Big Swiss, it has a lot of topics to go over like therapy, trauma, accountability, infidelity, power dynamics, obsession. Like there's just so many things that are touched on this book, which made it very enticing to read. Both have their own traumas that they deal with very differently and it kind of comes out in the relationship with each other. And that's where the power dynamics I was talking about comes out in. Their actions towards each other is influenced by how they deal with their own trauma. And it's very, it's very interesting. Good morning and happy Friday. It is Friday, it's been a week. I have my hair. Well, I really just dyed the ends of my hair. I, so I had a pixie cut three years ago and it was, I bleached my hair three times to have it platinum blonde and I kind of been growing it out ever since then but like the ends of my hair was getting real frazzled looking and very just the contrast was too much so I decided to just dye my hair back to my natural color she shade matched for me and it is perfect it also looks longer and so much healthier I have a Pango Books haul. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So first book is The Bride Test by Helen Huang. She's the first author that introduced me to like contemporary romance. Read The Kiss Quotient back in 2021. And I absolutely loved it. This is book two in her trilogy. And for some reason, I, didn't ha I never had the second book. So I bought The Bride Test. Next up is powerless this is just a book that i've seen over and over again on tiktok i actually have no idea what oops it's about i know i think it's a romanticy book but i've heard good things or at least the reactions that i saw are really good i have two sally rooney books one beautiful world where are you and conversations with friends i never read conversations with friends i read this before but i don't really remember what it's about this is toby by the way and that's Winnie. This I got is a very nice girl. I saw, um, I think her name is Athena on TikTok. Recommend this book a while ago. I just also really love the color of the blue and pink. It's very catching to me. Actually, I got a memoir. It's a life, is, a life in Parts by Brian Cranston. I'm such a huge fan of Brian Cranston's work, especially Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is my favorite show of all time. I think I've watched it total six times it's just something that i don't know i just love it so much and i think brian cranston is a phenomenal actor so i really love it and i'm very curious to know more about his life 